Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today, well, uh, ever since my last accordion book, I wanted to do another little mini book. And I saw this one and thought I would give it a try. So this is, I believe it was 9 by 12 paper that I cut lengthwise in half. So I have like 4 and a half by 12. And then I fold that in half and then I fold each side up to the middle fold to get that accordion fold and I do that with both the white and the brown paper so I have a two fold side and a one fold side hopefully that makes sense so here I fold it in half and then I'm going to take each side and fold up to that center fold And that just keeps everything even. So this is a like a it says it was a no sew book binding technique, but my my papers aren't long enough to like make a bazillion pages. <laughs> so I do end up doing this twice, but I don't show you twice. I make this booklet twice, and then I'm going to attach it together. So I find center, and then I decide to go one inch on either side so I have a two inch opening in the center of this brown paper and then I go up about an inch and a half and we're just gonna cut a triangle out of this and this is the two-fold side that I'm doing this to not the not the one that has the center fold and the f f single sides. I'm just going to use my exacto knife and cut this out. I need to find my pack of blades for my exacto. It's it's getting kind of dull. But that is a few layers of paper to go through, so. All right, so now I've got the brown. Now it's actually from a tone tan um uh art journal. Okay, so this one, I'm still doing the two inch width, but now I'm going from the two fold side and going out to the corner on the other end. So the end that has the middle fold and the single sides. So that Two inch side is going to be the back, same as the triangle shape. Hopefully, I'm, I'm not showing it very well, but hopefully you can see which side I cut there. Now I'm just going to poke these through. And I think the one that I saw a picture of must have had a lot more flaps on the the, the rectangular shape so the brown in my case because you know doing this there it's not enough that's why I end up making a second one so that's the basic you know no so bind book that's it pretty basic and kind of interesting I mean, if you got that triangle shape right you could have an arrow shape so here we've got two of them and I'm just going to take it and attach those two white pieces. I thought about gluing the brown together and decided that I wanted just to attach those together. So I'm going to pull out some washi tape and hopefully that will be enough. Now if I decorate the the pages and stuff 
that should that should work and this washi tape is just the right I think it's just the right width or I cut it to the right width no it's it works I think it's two inch washi tape <laughs> I decided those two um, pages will be my front and back. I think eventually that's what I decide to do. I have to look at my original. Oh, no. Are they in the middle somewhere? Oh, they're in the middle somewhere. Never mind, I lied. <laughs> Maybe if I'd have done that, it would have been too tight. Yeah, it doesn't fold that way very well. So now I've cut out, I've pre-cut out some jelly printed paper. And I decided to just decorate the white sections. I had thought about decorating both the white and the brown. But then you kind of lose that brown and white sort of effect. And I thought maybe the the tan, I guess it's tan, um, would be a good place to do journaling. And then you'd still have these fun, colorful sections inside. These like triangular shapes. And I'm just using glue stick. Hopefully it'll hold up well enough. And my my triangles are not the same exactly the same angle as those pieces. Don't know why. Just kidding. I know why because I'm not a perfectionist and I didn't measure very well. So you probably heard my chair creak. So yeah, I glued those pieces right over that section with the washi tape, and that'll just help hold that washi tape in place so it will stay together, hopefully. Hmm. I've been having fun making these little books, finding unique um, designs creating these fun little books. I'm going to have like a whole basket full of mini, mini books. <laughs> and I think it's a good way to showcase my um, jelly prints that aren't, you know, they aren't super fantastic by themselves, but in little um, batches like this. I think it works pretty well. They look pretty good. I'm trying to center it as best as possible. There we go. Oh, and I don't know if you noticed, I did put a little bit of washi on the back, um, on the white parts, trying to keep it, because this, this design slips around a bit. So it doesn't stay lined up as well as I would like. So I did that hoping that would help a little bit. I'm not sure that it does. OK, 
Okay, so here's all the pages. You can see there I'm like trying to straighten it. It shifts around a lot. So I decided I wanted to decorate the front and I didn't want to lose the tan color so I thought I would put this and I don't know why I'm putting the glue on the tissue paper but this is tissue paper um, from jelly printing and I put this on I don't know I guess I was thinking brown and tan and yeah I really don't like it <laughs> I get it on there and I glue the corners down to try and make sure it's down securely. I trim the edges. And then you'll see here in a second, I just rip it all back off. <laughs> well, and I couldn't quite get it all off, so you who glue stick does work. You know. If you leave it long enough, it 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 works kind of well. <laughs> See here, I'm trimming it, working with it, making sure the corners are glued down. And then I decide, now I just really don't like it. So it's coming off. I really didn't have it on there very long, but there were some sections I just couldn't get to come off. That's okay, it's tissue paper, so we can cover it up with something else, and it's pretty thin. Alright, so here's a jelly print I did a while ago, and I figured I would just trace around, and then cut that out and have it cover the front. There we go. Just like that. Again, trimming the edges just to have a little bit of overhang. So flipping through it again, because you know when you make one of these you have to keep looking at it over and over again. <laughs> and I could add something else to those jelly printed spots. I decided to enhance the cover a little bit, make those little jelly printed flowers stand out a little bit. And then I, I found some letters in my stash and I did the words, build on your dreams. Because why not? Well, I hope you liked this little no so journal construction. If you have 
give it a try and have more success. I wish you would share it with me. You could show me what you've got. You can tag me on Instagram. My Instagram link is down below. I'd love to see what you are all doing. So I have a couple pictures at the end. And thank you all for watching. Have an awesome day.